All right. So hopefully everyone had a pretty good uh, weekend, or at least a nice Sunday. And in a lot of ways, I guess. To, oh God, this is so annoying. Feel this camera. I also probably have to shave at some point. Though on the camera, my hair and facial hair doesn't seem to be getting too out of control. So anyway, uh, I guess today would be kind of like an we'll say day off for me, simply because we only have two projects to cover today. Launches are just really dry. And it doesn't help that everything's going down in value, too. I mean, especially Sphere, I mean, at this point. Uh, you know, I'm starting to actually get a little concerned if Sphere drops below one penny, which it looks like it could. Um... You know, Sim gonna give up on the project like that. That's gonna be a that's gonna really suck. <laughs> so I don't know. I could send them a DM, but and for now we'll just see how this plays out. I mean, Sim and Sphere really just have to survive until Wednesday, two p.m. All right, and then the markets go up. We'll see how everything does. If everything goes up except Sphere, then we actually have a massive problem. All right, I I mean I wasn't even thinking this, but I may even have to take off Sphere off the playlist because if you check my playlist. I've removed most projects. There's only seven projects that I'm in now, you know. And I might have to replace Sphere, worst case scenario, with Web3, which is not that bad, but I really would prefer to keep my Sphere, you know. So, anyway, launches are pretty dry today. We're only got two minor projects, because I thought Titan was launched, because everyone keeps nagging about it, but I'm not going to do Titan until it goes live. Alright, because didn't I do a video on, like, Outback Finance, or I might have... Right, and then that turned out to like either not launch or a rug pulled or something. So I mean, I prefer to wait till the thing go goes live. And on top of that, Titan apparently is gonna launch with their own decks, and I forgot something else. Well, Sphere already has that, and look how badly Sphere is doing right now. And Sphere is actually a big project, so I don't know, man. I think Titano forks are really just out of style right now. I'll still cover them, of course, but right now people just don't want to deal with crypto. It's like very frustrating. But, I mean, like Greg said yesterday in his video, the markets are in a correction right now, so everyone's literally panicking. I mean, there's not really much you can do. I also didn't realize you could zoom in and out of this. That's actually kind of neat. So, anyway, um, so the next project is, what was the next project I was planning to cover? Something called Ape, Aping Drip Money. So, yeah, so that's being covered by everyone. This one's by Murdoch DeFi. I mean, at this point, I'm actually a little paranoid about rug pa rug pull scams because apparently Astro Farmer uh, did a rug pull. At least that's what people in the comments are saying. So there actually is a danger in investing right off the bat because you could actually be investing in a rug pull scam, like an actual rug pull, uh, which I which I find a little odd because aren't all these contracts released before the the project launches and then you just analyze the code, right? So you could check to see if, like, the ownership is renounced. Uh, I don't know. But, I mean, these days, I only, uh, I'm really actually just focusing on my crops farmer and BNB miner, and that's it, you know. So, yeah. But, I don't know. I think my BNB miner video is still getting accruals, because I actually see, still see people putting comments on there, too. So that's a good sign, right? Because it's... Because, like, there's only two projects that I know of in the miner space that are actually doing well. Crops Farmer, Ecosystem, all of them, right? And BNB Miner, right? And not surprisingly, I not only do I leave that on the playlist, but I've, I've actually been adding to my BNB Miner position. Because as much as I like Crops Farmer, the problem with Crops Farmer is you can only basically pull out your money every once every six to seven days. So... You know, it's sustainable, so that's really good, but, you know, I still have to, like, buy other stuff. You know, I want to invest in other projects, have liquidity on hand, right, etc., etc. So, anyway, uh, Murdoch DeFi uh, covered this project. Uh, he does at least mark all his videos as includes paid promotion. So, I'm pretty sure that every single video that he does... Oh, so that's kind of cool. So I assume you know, the more money you have, or the more you have invested, the more the graphics change. It would be nice if I could uh, harvest water. Oh, okay. So this you can't see it because my cam camera's covering it, but you can actually like do some actions, and then that's actually your compounding. Uh, if you want to do it the graphical way, but let's just return to the page. 
But when Menarch D5 covered this project, I think two days ago, the contract balance had like around 1250 Binance coin. Now you can see it's down like 205. So you probably want to be aware of that. Aside from that, I mean, it's basically your standard miner project like anything else. But hey, at least it didn't rug pull scam, right? So it pays 8% a day, and it's got like a tax of 4.2% because, you know, it's weed. So, I mean, it's well within, I mean, so it's within the 5% gap, but, yeah, I mean, for me personally, uh, I'm probably just not going to invest in any new miner projects, personally, uh, until I see, like, all the restrictions. Because the problem is everyone's just copying baked beans, and baked beans is not doing well. I mean, in fact, let's go to, what is it? Baked beans.io oh let's see yeah their contract I mean, it looks like it's slowed down a little bit but it was i don't remember what it was yesterday it was like twenty two thousand. it might have been twenty one thousand seven hundred. i don't know i think i just know that once this thing goes below twenty thousand, yeah baked, i mean basically baked beans is, is toast <laughs> so i mean you really have to follow the bnb miner or crops farmer formula because Again, the problem is everyone just keeps withdrawing from the contract. There's like zero incentive to compound. In fact, there's a disincentive to compound. There's actually every incentive to withdraw money, and you're still going to lose money. But it's just a matter of will you lose less money than everyone else. So I'm not really sure how anyone is supposed So I think the only person that really wins is actually the dev that I know of for sure. You may even get in like day one, like you're, you're still going to get screwed because everyone else is withdrawing. So your daily income goes down too. I mean, maybe there's a magic formula in all of this, but I haven't found it. So, you know. But with that being said, I mean, this is a, this is happening in the middle of like massive fear and fud in the overall markets. So right now, everyone is actually dumping literally everything just to get freaking dollars. All right. So let me see. All right. So it looks like so Greg Manarino should be doing this video right now. Yeah. So after a short while. You know, I thought it was going to be a fear trade, but it actually turns out that everyone's dumping their debt. The dollar Dixie was up a lot, and stocks are slightly down. So people are literally going into the dollar right now. If I could find the... What the hell? Why is my Yahoo all screwed up here? <sighs> Fun. Yeah. Love this shit. Love this shit. DX... Uh, DXY, yep, there we go, Dixie. So the dollar is up a reasonable amount. Relative strength, that is, not absolute strength. So, so yeah, people are literally going to, let me refresh this page. There we go. Now it's back up where it should be. Yeah, so people are actually going into cash. People don't want debt. People don't want stocks. They don't want crypto. Though crypto has been doing a little bit better since last night, but not much. Yeah, everyone's going into cash. So, yeah, we got the Fed, we got the Federal Reserve thing uh, this Wednesday, 2 p.m. Eastern, New York City time. Or so, I'll be live for that. I'll, I'll tweet it out, too, so if you want to, like, jump into that. Yeah, so, I mean, all these market pressures are also putting, in, like, a large amount of pressure on, like, minor projects, too. Because, you know, if you're panicking, what are you going to do? All right, you're going to withdraw from all your miners. You're not going to compound. You're going to drain the contract, and you're going to take that crypto and immediately dump it and buy, like, stable coins or something. And then wait this bullshit out. So, that's not helping the situation either. So, also, I thought this thing said Elden Ring. So, anyway, uh, I'm not going to personally invest in this, but that's because, you know, right now I'm just, like, very skittish about investing in anything right now personally i mean i already i already have enough risk now i'm just trying to pull out money re replenish my reserves i just pulled out a lot of money and put it in my bank account you know because you gotta pay rent and bills and then save a little more money beyond that because i'm actually gonna spend the 3200 bucks and get my offshore company all right i gotta buy two of them too at least so that's gonna be 6400 dollars down the drain then after that, then I can finally save up for, you know, my house or whatever in Florida. All right, I'm going to need, you know, I'm, I'm, I want to set aside like 50 grand for that. So I really would like the markets to come back up so my stupid sphere could like basically buy my stupid house, right? <laughs> but 
but um you know well uh, we'll see and so in the meantime you know minor projects is uh you know keeping me company so it's just a matter of just you know picking and choosing because there is like a million of these coming out every day so well except today because no one seems to be <laughs> wanting to launch but anyway uh that's that Gave an overall market view of everything in addition to whatever this is. I mean, it's a minor project like anything else. And I already told you that you just compare, to, compare my video to Murdoch DeFi's video from a couple days ago. And then just look at what the balance, the contract balances are. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, make your decision then if you want to jump into this or not. But, yeah. So, anyway, check out the Farming Collective, TFC. Uh, their thing is called Tegrity farms i guess like integrity and then i don't know their branding is really confusing it's like it's really hard to remember this so yeah like subscribe share this video oh by the way by looking at this i wouldn't even think of weed all right so there's also supposedly a weed oriented miner so like it, it, it's a little disorganized it's actually very disorganized so i can't even understand what's going on here but i mean it's a minor project so it technically doesn't matter and one other thing, baked cats. Uh, have you done any marketing since then? They have some sort of audit. All right, so they've been doing a little bit of marketing, I guess. Oh. All right, cause that's why I got see, that's why I got to log in. I don't know if I'm gonna go into big cats. I mean, wouldn't I be better off just doing more crops farmer, or it's essentially the same thing? So, I mean, unless I really want that, like, assuming they don't rug pull scam, all right? Do, then basically, the only incentive is get in on like like minute one, like within 10, 20 seconds. And then ride the whole thing up, you know. I th I think that would be uh, why you would do it. But it's still the same problem, right? I can only pull money from it like every five to seven days. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll worry about it later. So anyway, check out the Collective Farming uh, Tegrity Farms. I don't know what this site's called, so I'm just gonna call it Tegrity because that's what the uh, URL is. So I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe share this video around let's keep growing the channel thank you by the way to all the new people and old people still watching my videos so welcome welcome we're actually almost at 1500 as of last night so let's just keep pushing uh, for 1500 and beyond so you know i'm still hoping that you know i'm gonna see some more projects in the next couple of days but on the other hand i did want a day off too so today would be pretty nice for me for that so yeah also, I am a little groggy, but I've been I've been having such a hard time like trying to lose weight. I'm still stuck at 186.2. I didn't even eat that much food yesterday, so I don't understand. I'm honestly doing something wrong, so I don't know. I'll deal with it.